Free sucker! That's right. You were expecting this, were you? Tell your friends about me. Hey guys. So, we're back again. This time, we're going to be taking out some of the bosses, you know. We've been playing this game for almost ten hours and we haven't actually faced a single boss yet. Which is unconventional, in many respects. So, I thought we'd go beat up a gecko. Wait, no, something like that. Like a dude over there, basically. Actually, if I remember correctly, he's fairly unique in amongst the bosses of this game in that you have to actually fight through... Was it one, two... Yeah, two... Yeah, two mini-bosses before you actually get to the dude. Which is, um... Bad, bad, well, bad as much of a pain as it sounds, actually. Nice. It's one way to lose weight. Uh, how do I use this thing? Ah, uh, okay, she uses an item, haven't I? Open wide! Ew, that's nasty. That's nasty. Oh, my God, oh, it's pulling me in. Oh, my God. The black hole for a heart, apparently. I can relate. Ah. I should point out, by the way, I'm playing this from the comfort of my own bed, because it's fucking freezing here today. I wrapped up in all my blankets and shit. It's actually a rather enjoyable experience. I mean, I wish I could play my console games like this. I just don't have any wires that would stretch far enough. Gotta love being able to play on a laptop. Hell is this? And yes, now I've figured out how to manipulate the camera, I'm going to be doing that a lot. But you know, why not, eh? Well, that didn't look suspicious at all. Aha. It's happens when you hire the Illuminati to be carpenters. Can't see shit, Captain. <laughs> it's very, very... I found an underground arcade. That's different. Doesn't seem to be any Pac-Man machines anywhere. Space Invaders? No. House of the Dead 2? I'd settle for that. Nope. Giant metallic corridors of do Again! One of these bloody... Oh. Seriously, I've got to actually figure out why the hell you break these goddamn things. I mean, I know it's got to be with a weapon I already have, but... I don't know. Every time I find one, I'm already recording. I can't be bothered to sit here trying weapon after weapon after weapon. On the off chance one of them actually works, you know? Yeah, whatever. It's not terribly important. I don't remember them being... Necessary. Is that the right word? Important, perhaps? It's important to say is I don't remember you having to need to break them in order to progress at all. So, I'm not really gonna bother. Find my way in the dark, that'd be amazing. Even with the gamma turned up, I can barely see shit, so I know you guys aren't going to be able to see anything. Even with the gamma function that uh, YouTube offers these days. Hmm, it's locked. Why is this locked? Oh, right, of course, I need the prison key, don't I? I forgot this place is essentially its own, like, mini dungeon. I say mini. Hey guys, I haven't mentioned my new book. How to get ahead in prison. Nah. Sorry, that was probably awfully tasteless of me. I'm sure there's someone we can solve your problem. You know, I'm a little stumped right now, but... Oh, oh dear. How terribly impolitic of me. Still, you've got to la... Oh, right, of course. Well, what I'm saying, gentlemen, is that... I'm sure you can still have full and healthy lives. There are, there are many folk out that seem to get along just fine, despite being completely absent from the neck up. Politicians, for example. I, well, no. Many people would consider that a fate worse than death. So, yes... Perhaps not. I'm sorry, you know that I can't pick up any of like these what, like, M6 machine guns these guys clearly have. Would it be M6s or am I thinking of our special forces? As is in the British, that is. Is it us that uses the M6s or did? Oh, well, I don't even know. The period of time in which I was interested in such things lasted until, well, until Stargate ended, to be quite frank. Where's my friend Mathias and his military nut job of a brother? Well, interest-wise. He's not actually in the military. Well, I don't even know if he's interested in that stuff anymore. Most of his interest transferred over to Range Rovers and such. Bit of a step down, you think about it. Military hardware. Ooh. How handy. Nah. Sorry, terrible pun. Shouldn't have made it. Hey, it's X button. Where are you, my little friend? There we go. Even holds the hand as well. <laughs> Oh my god, you see, I wouldn't be surprised if whoever did this little section of the game had been watching a lot of Red Dwarf. Okay, Mike, give me five! 
and you burn that. I'll give you fifteen. Hmm. Wish I had some of that. What is it? Like gas that has like the opposite effect of helium. Actually makes your voice deeper. Yeah, I can't remember the name now. Not as popular as helium, surprisingly. Both are less uh, uses per se. Now. Ah, there we go. Spotted out the corner of my eye. Knew that control panel opened one of these doors. Also remember why I don't like this area now. Lock control panels open doors miles away. No prison would ever have this design. Ever. Imagine that you actually push the button. You unlock all the cells on the far side of the prison where there's nobody there to control the inmates. Which wouldn't be a good idea. Like I say, the one thing in favour of this area, it does have some of the best music in the game, arguably. Is he gay enough? Nope. Excellent. Surprise, motherfucker! I'm expecting raves of ow! It's rather ow uncalled for. It's rather fortuitous, actually, that, um... Unlike the guns you find in Dead Side, the guns here in Live Side do little to no damage to Shadow Man. Now you could argue that's because he is already dead. So unless one of the guards happens to get a headshot, you're kind of fine. See that? That makes sense. That opens the door right. Wait a sec. That opens the door right there. What's the point in doing that little circuit? That's kind of. And Steam is beeping at me. You've downloaded a client update. Well done, Steam. I'm proud of you, really. God, it's like a disco in epileptic ward here. What the hell's going on? My sweet rave party at the end. Ah, oh, fuck it. No, actually, I'm going to take care of at least you. So as long as I don't have to backtrack too much, there shouldn't be too much point in me doing this. So I'm pretty sure that I've opened all the gates in this particular area of the prison, so I shouldn't have to come back this way. Wait, could I? Oh, I got myself lost already. I can't remember where I could go and where I couldn't go already. Loader? Please, no bloater. Getting flashbacks to The Last of Us. Speaking of which, um, did I hear right there's some DLC for that game? Sort of acts as a, uh, semi... semi secretly story continuation for the end of the game? Or have I been told completely wrong? So I've heard two different accounts of that. One lot of people telling me the DLC continues the story on from where we saw. Of people saying the DLC is actually a prequel and deals with that um, that whole thing with Ellie and her friend being trapped in that mall to actually see where Ellie actually got bitten. Oh, for fuck's sake. Go away. I'm trying to talk to the boys and girls about much more interesting zombies. But either way, I'd be quite interested. Because um, I'm going to be getting a bunch of um, credit for the uh, PlayStation Network, assuming you can download it that way. Pity's sake, grab the... There we go. Shikamaraka, shikamaraka. Oh, you're not dancing anymore, Mike. God damn it. But yes. I'm going to get a bunch of credit and stuff, and uh, if it is available... I say either story is fine with me, but yeah, I definitely want to download and play those. Uh, it's sort of in the air whether or not I'd LP them, because traditionally speaking, I don't LP add-ons. Never have done. Like when I did Silent Hill 2, I did end up actually going back and playing Born From A Wish, but I didn't LP it. Uh, because I'd already talked about what that secondary storyline added on during the course of the LP proper. And the gameplay was nothing different, it was exactly the same. So I'm so I'm in the air, basically. Which is no mean feat when you're lying down. I'm trying to decide whether or not I should showcase this stuff. If indeed it's even available. Course they are. Actually, no. That's a thought. So I'm actually slightly behind in my recording of Shadow Man. I still won't have uh, had a chance to purchase it by the time this video goes live. Wow, it's an odd feeling. For so long I've had a backlog of videos, and now suddenly I don't. And I tried to make that ledge jump without putting my shit away, didn't I? Bad, bad Lazo. Speaking of bad, is it wrong that I kind of. Despite my really terrible experience with console, I kind of want to get another Wii U just to get Wind Waker HD. Even though I absolutely despised that game when it first came out, 
I'm kind of getting into it, replaying it, um, well, you know, the standard version. I don't know. The only way I could ever see myself getting another Wii U was if I knew for certain they'd fix that horrendous console bug that causes the you know, entire thing to brick itself. If it gets downloaded, um, if it gets interrupted even in the middle of a download. I can say that we're going all Scooby Doo on you all. Hmm. As the German would say, I would just use mine handy. Which would be wrong, because that would be referring to a mobile phone rather than a keycard, but still. If I used it properly, I wouldn't be able to make the joke. Oh, I've got 100 Kajaks. Which means I could go and get another bar of health. Not sure if I'll bother, but I could do it. I might need to, actually. I remember the Lizard King being a pain in the ass to fight. Not in terms of difficulty, but, um... He has a tendency to sort of hit you when you least expect it, if that makes any sense. And he can sort of throw you out of your attack pattern and you end up getting hit three or four times in a row and it's, it's just a whole thing. So that's how I remember doing it as a kid. Or failing to do it, should I say. Again, as a kid I was trying to use voodoo weapons on him as well. Maybe we should just stick with using pure shadow gun. I mean, a lot of these guides you'll find online talk about how it's very important to make sure you use your secondary weapons when fighting, you know, the five, and all that stuff. I've never found that to be the case. I've always found it far, far more useful to- Ooh. Oh, yeah, speaking of boss fights. Where the hell? Hey, Yank. Hey, soul brother. It's good to see you. Come along, wait for the party. Buddy. Change the gain on your microphone, bro. I haven't come for a party, mister. What odd time to be polite, Michael. You crazy son of a bitch. You got your damn party, all right. Oh, that bitch did not just mention my little brother. Guess you haven't noticed, bro, being dead ain't exactly the handicap it used to be. Why am I fighting a 1980s DJ? How did that come into being? Oh yeah. Of course I'm saving the game because I'm not an idiot. I don't want to have to replay this over and over again if I cock up. Ooh, here he comes. Prepare to die. Why is my... Why are my buttons not working? What's going on here? Why the fuck is my gun suddenly in the right hand? I never used the shadow gun in the ro What? Oh, of course, because Mike was firing from his right hand in the cutscene, but why the fuck would you do that? It's like a guaranteed source of confusion. Why would anyone ever do that? It makes no sense. Surprise! Wow, you're surprisingly accurate with that thing, aren't you? Annoyingly so. Nah, you missed! Sort of, until you didn't. Oh yeah, very good, son. You know what, you might be disco, but hell, I'm Pulp Fiction. He says Mike randomly shoots into the sky. I'm glad you're enjoying yourself, Mike, but perhaps we could focus on killing the dangerous zombie man? Not shooting barrels at the other end of the room? That'd also be grand. Surprise! Surprise! You guys notice, by the way, every time I hit him with the shadow gun, he briefly turns into like a scaled down version of the true form? I'm pretty sure they all do that. If I remember correctly, you get the most clear view of it when fighting the Lizard King himself. Because he actually transforms into a mini true form. Very briefly. Mine! We go from disco to whatever the fuck this is supposed to be. Mine! <laughs> Back to the normal theme tune. Well, normal being a. A subjective word in this case. In every case, but never more so than it is right now, basically. You know, what I really just noticed just how lackluster the environments are around the prison. I think there's little to no texturing on a lot of these walls. Well, if there is, it's so flatly done. I can grab onto thin air, apparently. Marvelous talent you've discovered there, Michael. 
Oh, it is there. It's just once you get to any kind of a distance, you can't really tell. This should be useful. I doubt it. The only weapon of them my shadow gun I'm ever going to use is going to be the Violator. I'm not even going to use that until the very last fight of the game, so... You know. It's kind of a shame, actually, that you can't take... Considering we now actually generally have a portal directly from Live to Dead Side. It's a shame you can't take Mike's um, Live Side weapons over to Dead Side without using the cheats. I don't know if I've got it, but there is definitely a cheat that lets you use the shotgun while in Dead Side. It's just a shame that I don't really have it. Well, I'm not using it, should I say, more accurately. Mine! Ugh, card key again. It's gonna get as tedious using the engineer's key did in the asylum. I should have to keep putting it away to do jumping puzzles. I think speaking, you don't have to do that, you just have to, you know, make sure you make the jump. That was always my problem. Never made... Huh, that didn't open, that's... odd. Zoom it's hiding yet another control panel, I need to do something else. Leaving there any other locked doors other than... the one that is right there? Hmm. Fuck's sake, there you go. I don't think there is. Oh, hi there. My god, he blew his top. Quite literally. No. Ah, Mike, we've had words about this. Why would you target the dead man on the floor rather than the less than dead one that's now trying to shoot us with a shotgun? Why would you do that, Michael? Explain your reasoning to me. I may or may not make you walk off a cliff to your doom. Depends how merciful I'm feeling, really. Oh, God. Targeting system in this game is utter shite. That's the only real challenge in the combat. Is Someone just dropped a bunch of keys down the stairs, that was weird. So he's... How was that? Hmm. It's the only real challenge is making sure that you actually lock on to what you're trying to fire at. Something in another room or something that's already dead on the floor that hasn't actually got up to attack you yet. All such nonsense. Yeah, Jax, I've now got more than I need, technically. At least then to do it, I'll go and trade them for extra life anyhow. I am down in the right room now, that's a good start. Now I'd have to question, would they even make a sound, really? Actually, I suppose they would, it depends. Just air being expelled through the top of the neck. Just the weird gargling, surely for the, that particular gargling noise you would need the tongue still intact, which clearly it isn't. For that particular noise is the sound of the tongue flapping against the roof of the mouth, neither of which actually exist anymore. They've both been destroyed. Courtesy of the weird head exploding power that's going on here, but thankfully it doesn't affect Mike. Heaven for small mercies and all that bollocks, yeah? Okay. That. Well, that definitely did something. I can't remember exactly what. Was there something in the. I want to say maybe there's something in the boss room, perhaps? Ooh. Double bunch of numpties randomly get up each time you push a switch. Not overly concerning, all considered. Especially when you've got like level 8 shadow power. You can take them down in a few seconds. I think they've got even as much health as like, the basic zombies do over in Dead Side. The only real danger comes from them approaching you en masse. Especially the one when they've all got guns. That can be. That can be problematic. If they hit you from a lot of angles and Mike keeps getting stun locked. Even then, it takes you an age and a day to actually die, so... Yeah, whatever. I think it's a shame I can't seem to pick up their machine guns. That seems like a bit of a swizz, you know? And I've gone the wrong way entirely. Fuck. You just only just come from the boss room, Lazo. You should know where this is. Try and concentrate, man. I know it's nice and warm here, but still. Focus. You can do this. I believe in you, Michael. Actually, people slamming doors all around the place. Uh, right, okay. Give me a sec to figure out where the hell I'm actually going, guys, and... Oh, yeah, 20 minutes? Yeah, I'll cut it here, and then we'll uh, pick back up once I remember where to go. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.